Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about a problem from lead code. That is an easy problem. The problem name is distribute candies. So let's start. The problem goes like this, that Alice has N candies where the ith candy is of the type candy of type I. Now Alice noticed that she started to gain weight. So she visited a doctor. Fine. The doctor advised Alice to only eat N by two of the candy she has. Okay, N is always even. Alice likes her candies very much and she wanted to maximize the number of different type of candies while still following the doctor's advice. Fine. Now, given the integer array candy type of length N, return the maximum number of different types of candies she can eat if she can only eat N by two of them. Uh, so you have gone through the problem statement. You can pause out this video and try to do this problem of your own. But I'll tell you in simple terms, uh, the problem statement just goes like this, that you have N candies, N is always even. Now the doctor advised you to only eat N by two candies among all of these N candies. Now every candy has some type, like as you can see in the example, uh, the, the different candies, there are N candies. The first candy is of type one. Again, the next candy is of type one. The other candy is type of two, the other candies of type two and so on. And you can only eat N by two candies. Now you have to maximize the different type of candies you can eat. That's the whole problem. Now let us move down to a drawing board to even make it more clear. What you can see here is that you can eat at most two by N by two candies. If you like in the end, as you can see that you want to maximize the different number of candies you can eat. Okay. So the best way possible is to first find out how many different candies are there. Okay. So let's say how you can do that. There are multiple ways. The easiest way is to use a set because set only stores a single instance of a type, like different types, only one instance will be saved. If you push multiple numbers of the same type, only one instance will be saved in a set. That's the property of set. So what you can do here is that you can iterate over the whole array. That is that the array like, like this one, one, two, two, three, three. You can use a for loop to iterate over this array and push all the numbers into the set one by one. After doing that, the set will only consist of numbers that is one, two, three. Only single instance of these numbers will be there in the set. Now what your final intuition is, just see how many different candies are there because the set will actually give you the set size. The size of this set will give you how many different candies are there. If you find out the set size of this, it, it turns out to be three which means that there are three different types of candies you have in this array. Okay, fine. Now see that what is the total number of candies you were having initially? You were having six candies. So the doctor allows you to eat N by two, that is three candies. So you just find out that either which is which one is smaller. What I mean by this is let's say that a different number of candies might be, let's say that the candies can be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are the candies. All of them are different types. Now, if you put them into a set, all of them will be in the set because all of them are distinct. So the set will be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you find the size of this set, it turns out to be six, but you can only eat N by two candies that is equal to three. So it means that because you can only eat like there are different six types of candies, but you can only eat a maximum of three types of candy. So answer will be three. But if they are, let's say two different types of candies only, what I mean by this is let's say array like this one, 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 two, two, two. If you put them into a set, the set will only consist of one and two. So th there are different two types of candies, but the total size of the set is N by two, that is equal to three. So you can eat at most three different types of candies, but there are only two different types of candies. So you can only eat two different types of candies. Hope you get the point. So you just have to find out the minimum of both of these values, whichever is smaller. Either you have many different candies, but you can only eat N by two or else you have smaller different type of candies. But like if you have, let's say only one different type of candy, and even if you can eat N by two candies, that is way larger. You only can eat one different type of candies because of the constraint that there's only one type of different type of candy. Hope you get the solution. So that is the whole solution. You just have to find out that. So let's just move down to the uh, actual code of this. I have actually done this. 
let us move down to the submissions of mine i'll post the submission link so what you have seen here is that i have actually used a set to store out how many different type of candies are there i have iterated over this candy type and inserted all the different candies into this set and then find out what is the size of the set and in the end just return out the minimum of either n by 2 or the size of the set either one of them whichever is the minimum is the different type of candies you will be eating in the end hope you get the solution as well as the code for this problem if you still have any doubts you can mention down thank you for watching this video till the end i will see you in the next one till then keep coding and bye